Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're gonna go to the mall here in Vicenza and it's called Claudio Mall. And we're gonna go to H&M, get the girls um, some clothes. So it's Monday, it's Labor Day. We started our first day of school today, so. So, so you guys know when this video is around the time? You need to wear your mask, so it's the coronavirus time. <laughs> yes. So in the future, you guys know when this happens. This is vagina section. You, this is so, this is adorable, look at it. Okay. Ooh, so cute and they match with their outfit. <laughs> on, mommy. I'm on my way. Okay. So I'm a All the fall clothes that they have now in H&M. So cute. <laughs> I was trying to look for some shoes for me here, but they're all super like thick sole. Mommy, look at these baby shoes. These the ones. What? These are baby shoes. These, these, these. Baby shoes. What are you doing? Wanna <laughs> try these on? On the court. You got snap-on bracelets. You look cute. Go I'll turn on these shoes. Julian helps me pick out shoes because I'm not good at it. I like sneakers. You know, there's 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 also ways of coloring the sush like black if you want. It's kind of cute. But you know how like you give a car a paint job? I could tape all the way around and just color the swoosh if you want. Wait, guys. And like it's waterproof, and daddy needs waterproof stuff. Mommy! Today we are eating dinner at Sushi California. Socks. You can try it, you can dip it in there if you'd like to try. The girls are so hungry. Look at how big the big one. I think we're missing one more. show you guys like a quick H&M haul. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> so I just want to show you guys what I, we got the girls. There was a lot of cute like fall stuff but it is long sleeve and I was checking the weather for the next like week or so and it's still going to be like 80s 90s and they need like clothes now to wear so I didn't want to like buy long sleeves and 
all this like super um warm ish clothes so um we're probably just gonna have to go back and set with when it gets cooler because it's still pretty hot so but some of the things here are like versatile so we can still use them in the in the fall time when it's cool so here's 101 dalmatians top it's just like a plain tee that they could use and they each got one of the simple pink blouse kind of like a mauve pink um and then they each got one of those too i think this is cute because it although it's like a simple top it also had these ruffles on the side they each huh you put it in there no <laughs> i want both one of these but um this is just like a a dress it's kind of like um i don't know i forgot how you call this like a tiered dress and it's pink with black polka dots this is another one that can be used with like leggings when it gets cooler Julia really likes these like um, tutu skirts so this is cute I like the like the mustard yellow color because it's a great fall color so she can layer it up with um, like this black tee and um, or with some leggings and it also gives me like Halloween vibes so I think that's cute and then they each got one of these dresses it's just a simple everyday dress my girls love to wear dresses like all the time so I also like to get them comfy dresses because their go-to outfit like daily is usually a dress. I was surprised to find this romper because... That's mine. My dad has one too. Yeah, both girls got one of these. And I was surprised to find a romper because like I said everything is pretty much like fall. But I thought this was pretty cute. And, and then we just got Jane some basic pants. She has other pants but they're like she has a lot of dark colors. So I wanted this one. It's compare well with um, a dress or with her top and then Juliet chose some sh little shades it's just so cute we got some socks I was trying to look for some organic cotton pajamas because I know that H&M does carry like their organic cotton stuff but I couldn't find any pajamas and the pajamas I did find were like um long sleeve like super winter pajamas and they were it was just like a very small selection so i was actually pretty surprised but we did find these like we did find these yeah. just little like tees they can use them like at home or like to lounge around oh. and this is jane's she wanted like the nighttime print i wanted like the flower print yeah the floral print and then and here's like another basic tee so i just wanted to get them more like everyday clothes that they can wear in the house or like outside and i think that's all right i didn't show you guys everything because some of them were doubles like where the girls got the same exact thing but that's pretty much everything next time i might do like a zara haul because i love zara's clothes and i think h&m is more for like the i like buying like more of the basic clothes at h&m and more of the everyday clothes but zara i like other outfits because they just have super cute things um and then you guys saw the shoes that i got they're so cute i love them can't wait to wear them and i haven't purchased sneakers in so long like i've only purchased like like simple white shoes that are just like you know go with anything but i haven't bought like nikes or anything like that in so long i just kind of got over it but um julian usually is like really he's like a, he loves sneakers so he actually I, like i won't buy sneakers without his recommendation because i don't really know what's like nice so he helped me choose those and when he showed them to me i was like yes i love them because they're like narrow right now we're just going to we actually started school yesterday our first day of homeschool so we've been a little busy this week oh and i also forgot to show you guys that i just got my package it's from the simple folk um it's a uk brand and hold on this is my first purchase from them um i, I found them on instagram they make like high quality quality like organic cotton type of clothes i just this is their catalog i purchased some face masks because um i've been wanting to purchase more face masks because i'm constantly like washing and reusing the same two masks and um you know if for those of you who really know me you know that i love all things like organic cotton and I, although not all our all our clothes is organic um i, I try to when i can i we try to purchase organic cotton and um mask is something that i thought was cool to you know have good quality masks because we're wearing them so often this little bag i'm just unboxing it right now for the first time so here are the masks uh one two three four i think i bought two children's masks and two adult masks 
So like if, if it, I have any viewers here from um, like Italy, if you're interested, I bought these from Simple Folk and they, they're from the UK. So I received them like in three days. It's only been three days since I ordered them. And, and I think for those of you who are American and would like to purchase from them, I believe that they have an American website so that you can purchase from them. This is the color blush and it's uh, the child size and the fabric is just so the fabric is just so soft and you could tell it's just like really high quality the other child one this one's in color ecru or ecra i'm not really sure and here are the adult ones this one's the adult mask and it's in color sage so i think it's a cute color and i wanted something more like natural basic down to earth you know this one's a camel color Cute. Look at how cute they are. So yeah, if you guys want to check them out, they're called The Simple Folk. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that these are also GOTS and Oecotech uh, certified. Is GOTS, which stands for Global Organic Textile Standard. And when, when you're certified with these, it just basically means that like the whole process from beginning to end has been looked over and it's safe and there's no, to nothing toxic at all involved and they're just like really high quality and made very well. So that's basically from beginning to end, from the beginning of the production to the end, it's been like non-toxic and totally clear. And I actually have been planning to put up a blog post about GOTS and Oecotex. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing those right, but I'll have them like below if you're if anybody who is interested in um, learning more about that. But yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, so we are going to our grocery store again, um, Ali, the one by our house, and I'm going to get a few things that I need for dinner, just a couple of things just for the house or for our kitchen. We were going to have some gelato at the shop um, right before this, but the parking lot was a little blocked off, so maybe on the way back I'll see if there's another way I can enter. Um, we'll see after this, but we're going to go into the grocery Here store we now. we are at the gelato shop. Mom, they're so nice to us. There's cookies right here. I want cookies. I want cookie too. Okay. Is it good? Oh, we ended up coming with some gelato after the grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just going to eat like sort of fast because we have groceries in the car. But we don't have any like butter or cheese or anything like that. So we're good. Like it. Mm -hmm. This one, all these up because um they're far away from the park. This one is not flavorish. This one is. Which one? They're both good. Got big. Try mine. Okay. You can get more. It's like a cookie there. Mhm. Mm because you know why I'm not. What? Yeah. Which one do you like more? I like yours. I like both. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys my quick haul from the grocery store again. I just kind of, I like seeing these like on YouTube, so I want to show you guys too. Oh, I got just some paper plates and bowls because we like to use those for snacks or for lunch. And we got a jar of Nutella and this one's glass, a glass jar, so that's pretty cool. We don't use Nutella too often, but lately we've been making crepes and Julia has been obsessed with them. So. Um, I got a, a little pack of bananas, bio means organic. So whenever you see bio, in Italy, it means organic. And I got my biodegradable bags to put like all biodegradable type of trash or um, cause the recycling is big out here in Italy. Um, I don't know why they grow through these in a car. They like to just like have little cups of water, I guess. When they're blueberries, I hope and think, I'm not sure honestly if this is a cabbage or if this is a lettuce. From the tip over here, I thought it would look kind of like a lettuce, but I mean a cabbage. I'm wanting it to be a cabbage because that's what I need it for, but um, we'll see when I cut through it. Organic cane sugar. I don't really use sugar anymore too much. But sometimes I need it for like baking when we bake randomly. We don't bake as often as before, but um, I don't really have sugar. And I know that Julia had been wanting to bake chocolate chip cookies, so I needed some more sugar. I got the girls each one of these watercolor little paints. I got some corn on the cob. A lot of these ingredients I'm going to use for the meatball soup that I'm making today. It's um, called albondigas in Spanish. And then here is their little snacks that I showed you guys last time. Up in each one. Let me go give it to them actually. Girls, can you come grab your little snack? 
Barbie. Okay, I'm already out of space in my little counter. That's like another thing about Italian kitchens. They're small. Okay, this is just like baby food and Juliet wants it for her dolls. So some more lines for our soup today. Some peaches, I got three peaches, one for me and the girls. Strawberries, or um, I should say these in Italian to try out my Italian. So, tragola, pesce, maiz, cheated because I wasn't sure how to say it, but I guess you say it the same in Spanish. And zucchero. Uh, I forgot how to say these. Um, lampone? Lampone, or is that raspberries? Mirtilo. Melas. Green apples, avocado. How do you say this in Italian? Oh, avocado, avocado. I don't know. Uva, <laughs> onions. Okay, I haven't looked at the front. How do you say onions? I know this. I just. Yeah, cipolla. I don't know if you say cipolla or cipolla. And then it says giale. Cipolla giale. Giale means yellow. I got some xylitol gum. I'll be having a post on Instagram um, talking about xylitol gum soon. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me. I've always been into like the whole organic and wellness type of lifestyle with my children as a mother. So I go on to talk about how this is beneficial for our teeth, especially your kids' teeth. And some carotas or carrots. Squash, zucchini squash. I'm not sure, zucchini. Chocolato. Oh, and I got, I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five cartons of eggs. I look like Gus Gus from Cinderella, don't I? The eggs out here in Italy, you n I have never found them by the dozen. I think I found them by like six, but half dozen, but not a dozen. So this is a pack of four, which is how I usually find them. So that's why I have a huge stack because, you know, we, go, we do use a lot of eggs. But these are also bio eggs. We're going to be making some... Well, I'm going to be making some of the soup that I said, Mexican uh, meatball soup. So I um, don't think I'm going to vlog that, but I have been making recipes in the past two vlogs. And I don't know if that's something you guys are like interested in seeing. So if you guys do like watching the recipes, let me know so that I can continue to show you guys. And what I also do is I also create a blog post where I get more into detail of the ingredients that you need. So I usually pair it. That is all. I'm going to wrap up this vlog right here unless I decide to vlog the dinner but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching the next one is going to be up uh, very soon because we're going to verona this weekend and we're going to be doing a couple other things so i'm probably going to have a weekend vlog out very soon so please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and um hit the notification bell so that you know when the next video comes out thanks again for watching bye